When we make portfolio pieces, it's easy to just think of something that looks cool. But in the real working world, you never just get asked to make something that looks cool. You get asked for a very specific assignment. And in my professional experience, that actually makes things easier, not harder. And so each of these portfolio builders are exactly that. I'm going to lay out a design challenge. Like, for instance, we're going to design a house for a fantasy video game. And then the rest of the series is not so much a painting demo as it is me going through this design challenge. And I start with planning, and I go through the sketch phase and build it all the way to a finished image. But what I'm focusing on is how to approach design. And I'm not the star of the show. Really, this is about you. You are building a portfolio. So the whole time I'm explaining my process, I'm focusing on how you could do it differently or how you might approach this aspect of the challenge for your own artwork. So you're not going to end up with the painting that I start. You're going to make your own. It's sort of like I'm working over here, you're working over there, and we both end up with a portfolio piece. Even though we started from the same design challenge, they're going to be really different. And for the initial release, I have four different ones. In house design, we are designing for either a fantasy game or a movie, and we start with rough thumbnails, add a little 3D in there, go all the way through to the finished illustration, and then we go above and beyond and sort of thumbnail for an entire village. The next one I'm really excited about, which is game icons. And this is something that is often not talked about among concept artists, but really graphic design and icons these things are important even for someone who really thinks of themselves as an illustrator. So we go through the whole process of making icons, but then also including them in the overall layout to essentially create a fake game. In Boss Monster, we'll be designing a epic monster for a video game. But we don't just think of it in terms of what's cool. We think first from research. It's how does it live? Where does it eat? What does it do? We think of a story. And only then do we go through and make the final design. So for those three, we're making a single thing. The fourth one, world design, is a little bit bigger. Actually, it's a lot bigger. The idea here is to make a personal project that has you designing an entire game world. So it's not just a single house or a single monster. It's everything. And this one, I would give yourself a little more time to work on. If this were a college class, you could think of the other ones as sort of week-long assignments, and world building would be the final exam. But I think big personal projects like this are uniquely special for illustrators. So the goal is not to teach you exactly how to paint, but it's to encourage you to go on your own sort of concept art journey, and I'm just going to give you a structure to do that. Because really, if it were possible for me to be your personal mentor, I would. But obviously, there's just too many of you guys. But if what you're looking for is guidance in improving your portfolio, I've really created this series for you, and I hope you check it out. Thanks for coming to the site, guys.